run our way to Siversk again. We've just come through Slomyansk on like the northern side of Kramatorsk on to head down a highway to go to Bakhmut, which we've been only like pretty much 36 hours ago we were there. And there's a bit of shelling, whatever, but we're filming and we got stopped by one of the border guards. And we're like, oh, we're going this direction. He's like, no, 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 no. Like, do not go there. I'm like, can we go like this road near? And he's like, just just avoid it like at all costs. And I did like this. He's like, they're shooting. And he's like, yes, yes, lots. So I'm, I'm guessing the situation in Buckwood has changed dramatically. And typically out this way, those like guards are very chill uh, because it's been just so hectic here, I guess. Like they're just so used to it. And when they were like that, like don't go anywhere near it probably made something hectic i know the night after we left i think what was 150 rockets yeah, came in so. like 150 rockets landed in the city and that was not last night the night before and last night the shit got rocked everywhere so we might see if we can go at least on like a feature and see down in and see what's going on there so a really nice gentleman on one of the checkpoints referred to this road as the road of life this is the only road in and out of Seversk. That's it. If you look on a map, like there's nothing else. And he's like, everything has to go up and down this. And if this road gets cut off and they're on both sides, like the Russians are on both sides of this road, and it sort of just like a pushes in into Ukrainian land. If if road gets cut off, that, that town, that small city is lost. down in Seversk you can hear a massive amount of shelling going both ways and as we came down the ridge line coming in you could just see everything on both sides both sort of north and south of here uh, was lit up from shells so you can somewhat hear it but yeah there's a fair bit going on but we'll just have a look see apparently the other side of this road is significantly worse again but we are getting a lot closer to wherever those shells are So we're in Seversk. Seversk is a city in the far northeast, and as you can see on the map I'll put up, it's sort of coming on both sides around and may just be sort of swallowed up into this Russian front line. The shelling here is fairly intense, but there are still people living around here. There's plenty of civilians. You can see a massive rocket's gone straight in uh, to the top of the fire station here, and there's still a shop open down in the in the uh, on the sorry the western side. So Seversk is a fairly dangerous place to be, as you can you can tell. Uh, but the artillery is just absolutely constant. Не понял. Как здесь ситуация? Как? Напряженная ситуация. Вон крыша. Смотри, крыша. Вон крыша. Видишь ситуация? Вон. Разбитая крыша. Плохая ситуация. Обстрелы. Почему ты не ушел? Потому что дома мои тут. Как я буду уходить? Я за домами, за остальными присматриваю. И куда уходить? Придут ли русские? Будет плохо? Не знаю. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Так у меня. Английш? Английш. Англичанин или американец? Австралиан. Австралия. Австралия, да. Ты говоришь английский? Нет, нет. Ну все, спасибо.